is headed back into session all across the Inland Northwest and Coeur d'Alene is starting next week. The school board there is hosting a public forum tonight for community members to ask questions and share feedback. And as we have seen for the past several weeks, protesters will be in attendance. Our Morgan Trow is live in North Idaho at that meeting, but says the protest isn't like any other that we've covered lately. Hi, Morgan. Hi, Whitney. Yes, the Coeur d'Alene School District has three major COVID-19 protocols. No masks, no contact tracing, and no enforced quarantines. This is a stark difference from Washington schools, as we can see that those protocols are exactly opposite of the ones here. And we've seen a ton of anti-mask protesters going into schools in Spokane, but tonight it's the opposite actually. So pro mask parents are actually here and they want their voice to be heard. Governor Little, the Department of Health and Welfare, and doctors across the inland Northwest say North Idaho has a COVID problem. We can anticipate from the Coeur d'Alene School District alone, approximately 200 children will require hospitalization for COVID. About a third of those hospitalized actually need an intensive care. So about 60 are gonna to need to be admitted to a pediatric intensive care unit or PICU. Coeur d'Alene School District had numerous COVID-19 outbreaks the previous school year, even implementing a mask mandate at one large high school. With the Delta variant now infecting and causing kids to be hospitalized, the school board has doubled down on COVID protocols, but not in the way you may think. Their spokesperson told me that there will be no masks, no contact tracing, and no enforced quarantines. That means if your child is exposed to the virus, you may never know. This is not sitting well with some parents. You know, trust the professionals, trust the doctors, trust your nursing staff. I, I see Kootenai Medical Center making a cry for help, and we need to answer that. We need to be, you know, come together as a community. So what happens if there's a COVID outbreak in the schools? Well, Cooney Health says with the hospital capacity being stressed, they will not be able to accommodate the influx of cases. The public forum mainly revolved around COVID-19 protocols, but people did ask questions about critical race theory and other things about equity. All that and more in our newscast later tonight. Live in Coeur d'Alene, Morgan Trout, Crem2 News. All right, Morgan.